friends. How are you all today? Hope you're all enjoying your Wednesday afternoon. Um, it's nice and sunny outside, at least where Miss Jill is. I hope it's that way where you are too, wherever you're viewing from. For those of you that don't know me, I am Miss Jill. I am a children's librarian. I work primarily at the Erlinger location, so if that's your main branch, you've possibly seen me around there. Um, not Sometimes I'm at the other branches, usually not too often though. Today we're going live to show you how to do a couple of different crafts today like we've been doing for the last couple of months now. Time is flying by in this quarantine. I can't believe we've been doing this now for just about a couple of months already. Um, if you're unfamiliar with our programs, we're going live every Monday and Wednesday at four o'clock with a how-to program. Um, we're showing you different crafts and games and activities and things to do with your kiddos at home. Um, now luckily the weather is getting a little bit nicer so we can do a few more things outside which is super nice. But you know, it's still not super warm this week. We've had some rainy days, so it's good to find activities to keep them occupied inside, especially who knows how long some of the social distancing and quarantining is going to last. Um, we do this every Monday and Wednesday, like I said. Um, we are now starting on Thursday afternoons at four o'clock. We are doing a how-to live video that is all in Spanish. So if you are a Spanish speaker or know someone who speaks Spanish, make sure to tell them to tune in. It's super fun, very cool, very similar format. Um, so be sure to check out for that. All right, friends. So today we have a couple different things we're going to do. The first thing that I will show you how to make are cardboard. You know I love doing things out of cereal boxes. Those of you that have been tuning in regularly, cardboard castles. You could make them look however you want. I did a, a horizontal and a vertical example. You could do lots of them and end up building like a big giant castle. Like be super creative. Especially, you know, if you have the space for it, you can make one or two little pieces a day and really build it up and make it super cool. So I made this entire cereal box, or this entire castle right here, all out of one empty cereal box. Um, you know, if you've been tuning in, I'm trying really hard to upcycle things. I'm using maybe materials that we, that we already have at home, um, you know, empty boxes, cans, bottles, and then just using things like scissors, taper glue, um, markers, crayon, colored pencils, really whatever you have so you can improvise, you know, figure things out. It's no right or wrong way to do art. It doesn't really matter. So like I said, I did a couple of examples. This one here, one of my little flags is falling. This one, I put some empty toilet paper tubes in as well to make little towers. So you can get super creative. So how I made these, here is my empty cereal box. I'm just going to pull it apart right down the side here because it had a nice little seam. If yours doesn't have a seam, take a pair of scissors, cut it. Now, depending upon if you want a vertical box or horizontal box, you're gonna cut off a couple different parts. If you mess up, it's really not gonna matter. You can always tape or glue back together, improvise. Maybe your castle got attacked. So there's a weird hole in it. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you today, I'll explain both, but I'll make another horizontal castle. So to do that, what we're gonna do, here's our nice empty flat cereal box. I'm going to cut off these little end flaps here. Now, if you were doing it the other way, the horizontal way, you would want to keep these end flaps because that is what you would tape together here to make this edge. That's actually what Miss Jill planned to do the first time and then I cut off the wrong parts, so I made a tall castle instead. So like I said, if you mess up, it's okay. You can still make a castle. Maybe it's just taller or shorter than what you initially planned. It's not going to be the end of the world though. Now I kept all of these little pieces that I'm cutting off because that's what I used to make the flags on my examples. And as you can see on this one, there you can sort of see inside a little bit, I taped some of these empty cardboard pieces onto the inside of my castle and here on the back parts of the towers and stuff. That way you don't see the cereal box print. You could also always just, you know, put a piece of paper over it and then color it that way. But now I've got the top and the bottom part, the flat cereal, got those cut off. So now what I advise doing is first folding all of the seams the opposite direction from what it normally goes because you want the cardboard part to be on the outside. And you want it to be a little bit easier to fold and bend. It'll make it easier to tape together if you've already kind of creased it the other way. Now to get these little top i don't know what those are called in castles if anyone knows feel free to put it in the comments i'm not a castle expert by any means but i know they often have these little 
blocks up at the top that people sort of look over, the guards when they're on duty guarding the castle. To get those, you can do this a couple of different ways. On my horizontal one, I just kind of held my box together and freehand cut it. I was not as brave on this one, so I took a pencil and I pre-drew them on there. For the sake of time, we're not gonna be super picky today. I'm just gonna freehand it a little bit here as well. We're just gonna hope for the best and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I said, if something crazy happens, maybe your castle just got attacked by the other rival kingdom and they're at, you know, war and battling and you could turn it into a whole big story, a whole big scene and make it super fun. That I probably cut a little bit too much off there, but that's okay. You can always trim some more off the top. Like I, I personally think I made that a little bit too tall, so I might go back and trim some of that off after I am all done. But we'll get all these cut out. So it's super easy. If you wanted to make maybe a cooler design, maybe your castle's super fancy, you can do that. Maybe it's swirly, maybe it's wavy, maybe it is just a straight line. We don't know. They all look different. If you need inspiration, you can, of course, always just search for some images. Um, but we also, of course, in our collection, both online and physical, once we're finally able to be checking out physical books again, we have lots of really cool books about castles that you can check out, maybe get some inspiration. Um, I'm sure there's some digital content. Miss Jill did not look ahead of time. Um, but we do have our ebook services. Um, Libby and Hoopla are, of course, super, super great. Um, if you haven't downloaded those, you definitely should check out all of the awesome content that's on there. Ebooks, music, movies, lots of fun stuff. Moving on to the rest of our castle. Here we go. So this, see Miss Jill kind of cut it a little bit wonky. That's okay. We're gonna trim this up just a little bit. If I was making this not live right now, I would be much more picky about it, but that doesn't matter too much for all of you. So I'm going to go ahead, here I've put it back together, and I'm going to take just some tape. You could use glue if you wanted to. Um, it'll be a little bit faster probably to use tape, but use what you've got at home, use whatever you have lying around. Now I'm gonna start here on the end, taping it together. Oh yeah, Gina, this castles, this is perfect for our summer reading theme. Um, summer reading is coming up. It's still going to be starting on June 1st, just like every other year. Um, reading goals, well, prizes just like always as well. We're gonna be having um, an online app that you can use to make it a lot easier. For not, you know, it's not going to be as easy to come in and get the paper logs this year. Um, so we're going to have a bunch of stuff all online so you can track it at home, come in whenever you need to once we're open and things to get our prizes. So that'll be awesome. Our theme this year is Imagine Your Story. So it's all about different things, but focusing a lot on fairy tales and stuff because Miss Jill super likes that stuff. So there we go. We have it all taped together. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's just for the example. Now, Miss Jill had colored this one already. Now, last time I did that before I taped it together, forgot to do that now, so it might be a little bit easier when your box is still flat to go ahead and color it in. I used markers to draw my horizontal lines and then my vertical lines to make it look like stones and bricks, and then I colored it with some crayons over it. You can do yours however you want. Um, you can make it look crazy. I'm always a big fan of doing non-traditional art. Maybe you have a rainbow castle or it's covered in moss and you get really detailed. If you make one of these at home, I would love to see a picture of it. You can add it into the comments or just send it to us in a message or whatever. I'll see it. Would be super excited to see that. So here's our castle. Now I put a little doorway in this one so you could always cut out a door. Maybe you are super skilled with scissors or an X-Acto knife or something. You could cut out some windows if you chose to. Um, you could maybe have some taller towers if you know you have extra toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes, things like that. I put some flags on both of my examples. This poor little flag keeps falling. It must be very windy on that side of the castle today. I made those just once again. There are my terrible handwriting with a marker. It says backwards, KCPL. This is the Kenton County Public Library Castle. I just made all of the stuff out of the extra empty cereal boxes. There you can see part of the nutrition facts. I just used a rectangle. I actually just used one of my parts where I cut out here. That's all I did, but then just cut off another little piece, made it a nice little, you know, pretend that's like that. I just colored it in, taped it on, did it like that. So you can be as creative as you want with those. Um, super fun to do. You can make it super big. Maybe you have some big boxes at home. Like I said, I use cereal boxes. 
but maybe you got, maybe you ordered something large. Maybe you had to get a new appliance and you're like, well, how to get a new appliance, but now we have this giant refrigerator box. You could make that into a life-size part of a castle. How awesome would that be? Very cool. All right, my friends, our next thing we're doing today, completely different from castles, but especially now that the weather's getting a little bit nicer outside, I don't know about any of you, but I am trying to go for walks as often as I can outside. I've been doing that since this whole quarantine started. You know, it's good to get exercise and just get out in nature and just get out of your house for a little bit, but still social distancing and all of that good stuff. So maybe you go on a nature walk. This could be in your own backyard. It could be in a local park. Maybe you go for a hike, you know, all those different activities that we are actually allowed to go out and do. And so I made some nature walk art. There's the shills. It's not, it's not great, but I still like it. So these are just some various things I picked up just right out in my very own backyard. I found some pebbles on the ground. These are little, uh, little things off of pine trees that fall. These are some leaves off of a bush. I just trimmed off a little bitty part of one of the like branches and then pulled the leaves off because we don't want to be hurting our nature. We don't want to be yanking leaves and flowers and things off of our trees and plants because that's not nice to the earth. But you know, things fall off all the time. Feel free to use that stuff. This is just some mulch that I picked up. Um, me, oh, I already pointed out the rocks. I also, that I didn't use, had found just some leaves that had fallen to the ground. Um, this is just, just grass, just grass that grows on the ground that I used to make look like just like regular grass. This is obviously a tree. This is my mountain in the background. And then my sun with the different rays coming out of it. And then I colored in around with some mark or with some crayons. You know, you could use markers, colored pencils, all that good stuff. Now I drew, or I made sort of a nature scene out of my nature art, but you can get creative. Um, I actually got inspired with this idea from one of my friends. She did something similar to this with her little one. Um, and he had picked up a bunch of little rocks and he wanted to make an airplane picture out of them. So they traced out an airplane shape with some glue, made an airplane out of the little pebbles that he'd picked up. So you could, you know, make it look realistic or just make something totally cool like an airplane or a train or an alien or a dragon or maybe you make a, you know, weird self-portrait. Be creative. Do whatever you want. You know, it's a good way to get outside, get some movement going. But then, you know, maybe on a rainy day, you pick out your nature stuff, make a picture out of it. Kill some time that way. Do all that good stuff. All right, my friends. Well, that is all of our time today. That's everything that I'm showing you. But for those of you that just tuned in, if you missed any of it, we made cardboard castles today. So you can build them all up together. You can go back to the beginning of the video and see how to make it. Here's my example that I started making. And then nature art. Be sure to be tuning in every Wednesdays at four o'clock through the month of May. I'll be showing you how to. Um, and then in June and July, we'll be doing some similar programming, so be on the lookout for that. Um, stuff is getting entered into our calendar all the time. Um, you can go online to our website, kittenlibrary.org. Check all of that out. The events are also here on our Facebook page. And for those of you that missed it at the beginning, um, Mondays at four o'clock, we also go live with how to. It has been Miss Carrie. Um, next week is going to be Miss Emily doing um, another similar family or kid only activity that you can do at home. And then the next week, Miss Dagmar is going to be doing a cooking program. So that should be super cool. I'm definitely going to be tuning into that one. And then on Thursday afternoons at four o'clock, Miss Dagmar is also going live with a Spanish only version of how to. So like I said, if you're a Spanish speaker, or you know any Spanish speakers, let them know about it. It's super cool. I'm so excited that she's doing it. I think it's awesome. And that is our time today, friends. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy at home and making the best of all this time and hopefully able to make some fun crafts and do some fun activities with your kids while we're all stuck inside. See you next week. Bye.